again. As we all know, filling very large pots can be very expensive. So I want to show you how I am able to fill those pots and keep the cost down. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and click that notification bell so that you can receive notifications for future videos. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hello, it's Pam with This Southern Girls Gardening. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. So today, I am planting. I'm planting in containers. I have six raised garden beds, as you can see inside the garden here, and I'll do a garden tour soon. But I have six beds. These beds are all made from cinder blocks. But I also plant in containers because as every gardener knows, once you start planting, you don't want to stop. So I need more space. <laughs> I add more space using containers. So what I've done, I have containers on the back side of my garden and I'm putting five containers here on the right side. I went to Lowe's and I purchased these cement blocks. They were actually on sale for $1, five for $5. I need to go back and get more and I'm going to line them up along the fence and I set the container on top of that. So I believe these containers are about 25 or 30 gallons but I want to show you how you can fill these containers for cheap, very cheap. As we all know soil is expensive and if, if I wanted to fill five of these 25 30 gallon containers with quality potting soil it would cost a lot of money and even using the compost that I make I just don't make enough compost to fill this many containers in order to have an adequate soil level to plant so I want to show you how I prep these containers for planting or basically how I fill them for cheap so the first thing I do is on the inside you will see peanuts. These are the styrofoam peanuts that um, people use when they pack and they send material. They um, package things in boxes. So I put a layer of peanuts on the outside. And the reason I do that is because there are holes. Let's see if I can maybe zoom in and you can see a hole. Let me zoom the camera. There's a hole there. So I put peanuts around to cover the hole and there's also a hole in the center. So I just cut a small piece of landscaping fabric and I put it on top of the hole in the center. The purpose of this is to reserve the soil because as you wash and um, as you water your plants, soil will leak out of the holes. So I want to try to preserve the soil so the peanuts help create a slight barrier to stop the soil from leaking and the landscaping fabric on the bottom stops the soil from leaking out of the bottom. So because it's landscaping fabric, the water can still leak out. The water can still get through the peanuts to drain the container, but I don't have to worry about the soil being drained out of the containers. So that's what the first thing I do when I get ready to fill these beds or these containers. So the next thing I do is I fill the bottom half of the containers with topsoil. This is a very low quality topsoil, Timberline topsoil. I purchased it from Lowe's. It was $1.88, cheap. So I have placed two bags of topsoil into this container. And as you can see, the container is almost full. It's almost full. Let's see if I can show you where the soil level is. This is two bags of soil, $1.88. So that's about $2.60 for two bags of topsoil. But this container has a bit much, has a little bit more than I want. So I'm just gonna take my shovel. I'm gonna take some of the soil out. And I'm going to place it 
into the other container. So between both containers, I probably need a total of three bags of soil. I'm gonna take some of it out, take a little bit more out. I'm gonna spread it along the peanuts as I put the soil in to make sure they stay in place. I don't want them to move, I want them to stay over the holes. So let's check the soil level now. Okay. We may need to do one more scoop, just one more. And this is good. So this container, the bottom half of this container is filled with topsoil. It's filled with topsoil. So what I am going to do now is add a mixture of quality um, potting soil and compost. Now when it comes to potting soil, I do not favor a particular brand. I buy whatever is on sale or whatever is the cheapest. Because when I, even when I use potting soil, I always amend the soil. I always amend. I amend the soil by adding worm castings and blood meal. So I'm going to add that to the soil. So I, I don't care what brand of soil I use. Again, potting soil, garden soil, I use whatever is on sale and I add the nutrients that I need to add into the soil. So let's go over and get, I'm going to go get the bag of soil and I'll come back and show you, um, show you as I plant this or as I fill the rest of the container with the potting soil. Okay, the potting soil I'm using today, it's stay green. Stay Green Flower and Vegetable Garden. So, I actually used this soil over the weekend to top two containers. In fact, the containers that I planted sweet potatoes in, I topped two containers with this soil. Now I am topping this container. And there is enough soil left in this bag to top the second container. This bag was $11 and this is the 2.2 cubic feet bag, $11. So I've basically been able to top four containers with this bag. So it was like $11.99, so let's just say $12. So I was able to top four containers with this bag. So four divided by 12 that's three dollars it took one and a half bags of the topsoil which was a dollar 88 to fill half of this container so that's three four five six well they're a dollar 88 each but it only took one and a half bags so 370 so about five dollars I was able to fill this large 35 gallon container for five dollars yeah I have filled both of the containers and I've added actually set up two additional containers on the end so these are ready to plant well as you can see I was able to grow some absolutely beautiful bell peppers in those containers so I encourage you to add containers to your garden. If you're looking for more growing space, containers are a great alternative. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.